All right, today I want to talk about CSS text decoration. And text decoration is the property that we can use for underline and overline and line through. So just like I've done here with these different headings. So this is an underline, this is an overline, so it's a line above the text, and we've got line through. We can also add overline and underline, or all three. So we can just put them into our CSS with text decoration and list one or more of these values. Or we can say none, which once we save that, that will remove it from the element, just like that. Okay, so that's what we have with CSS starting from the very early days of CSS. We have the ability to do this. Now there are new properties. We can do a lot more to control how the underlines and overlines are being used. We can actually change this from this default shorthand property text decoration we can change this into text decoration line now this is the new name for the property and i can change all of these to text decoration line and it's going to have the exact same effect on the page as just text decoration so if you want to stick with the old property name you can do that you can see there's no change to my page the reason they did this is so that they could add in some additional properties to let us control these things. So let's take a look at this first one, where we're talking about just the underline here. You'll notice that there are gaps now here. So the J drops down, the G drops down, the Y drops down, the comma. So punctuation and letters dropping down, that will cut through this line. We can change that with a property called Text Decoration Skip Ink. So I'll put this in here, text decoration. And this is meant to signify the fact that we do or do not want it to break the underline when we have these things. So if I set this to none and I save this, there we go. It's no longer stopping when it gets to these points. Now, that's making this kind of hard to read, but we have the ability now with these additional properties, we can also change the color and the style of these lines. So we can get rid of that um, really awful overlapping effect here. If you want to keep the original, we just set this to auto, and then we've got those breaks happening again. Now, there was early on in the discussion of these new properties, uh, text decoration skip was a property that was first thrown out and it had a whole bunch of uh, values spaces objects edges box decoration which really came down to fine-tuning this so we could say okay at the uh, beginning and end of a letter when we're putting the underline here I want to leave an extra little bit of space before or after or both um, when it comes to an image, if there's an image in the line where I'm underlining, I want to either skip it or have it there. Um, there was a lot of things like that you could really fine tune, but that's kind of been cast aside. Chrome and Opera supported it briefly, but then they dropped it in favor of the text decoration skip ink. So they're leaving it up to the browser to really decide what the best way to implement things are, depending on your content. We're just saying, no, don't do the gap, or yes, do the best job you can dealing with the situation. Um, right now, Safari is the only browser that still supports text decoration skip, but I expect that will change in the, uh, in the near future. Okay, so those other properties I was talking about, we can do one of the ones I think which is the most useful is text decoration color. With text decoration color, I can actually choose what color I want to use. There we go. Now this would, if you didn't have that overlap, if you weren't leaving these gaps, this would be much easier to read because you've got the two colors. And I don't have to use a solid color. I could, with my text decoration color, We can use something like RGBA or HSLA. So I can say, you know what, I'm going to use uh, 50, 50%, 50%, and then 0.8 alpha. There we go. So orange, but because it's only 80% uh, 
the opacity is set to 80%, it means that the white is coming through in behind here. We can do that down here with the line through if you want to. Here, let me just copy this and edit that. Let's say I wanted to put something like gray inside there. So my saturation I'll set down to zero so there's no color. And I can do something like 60. There we go. So there is still a line through, but you can see the text in behind it. So that's text decoration color. We can control text decoration thickness. So how thick is that? Right now, it's set to just that same value pretty much as the thickness of the letters themselves. But we can, here, let's go to the bottom one. I don't know. We'll do this one. Text decoration thickness. There we go. Now, you can use anything that you would use to set the size of a font. You can use a percentage, you can use REMs, pixels, whatever you like. So I could say I want 2REM to be the thickness of that line. The overline is now 2REMs thick. So we've got color, thickness, style. That's another new one. So I'm going to come down here and apply it to both the top and bottom. We'll say text decoration style and you can see we've got a lot of choices here instead of the solid which is the default that's all we had up until recently now we can choose dashed dotted double or wavy so that's an entirely new one there we go we get the wavy lines on the top and bottom we can change that to dotted dashed so on There we go. We can see it's a dashed line through here instead of a solid line. Okay, and those are the new properties that we have. So we've got text decoration line, which is the new version of text decoration. You can stick with just text decoration. It's queer, quicker to type. Um, skip ink is all about leaving these gaps here. It's either auto or none. Text decoration color, text decoration thickness, and text decoration style. So try it out. Uh, have some fun with it. Um, get it all out of your system, and then when you actually build your websites, pick what's best for the situation, what's best for your website, not just what's the most fun to implement. All right, hope that helps you out. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments down below. I'll answer as many as I have time for. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.